1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power Barakatha Yahweh Barakatha Yahweh Shai Barakatha Yahweh Barakatha Yahweh Shai Barakatha Yahweh Barakatha Yahweh Shai Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai That's Hebrew Interpret Bless Yahweh Bless Yahweh Shai All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad Teaching his word of sincerity and truth Shalom All right now this is going to be a quick hit a quick hit and i'm um, try to make it uh simple to the point you know i was having conversation and uh this scripture came in mind and this is apostle paul all right writings to the church of corinth and he says and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power all right, and I speak values because what Apostle Paul is saying that he said his speech and his preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom. All right, now someone may think that you know this and this word enticing here is a bad word or you know a word that you know sort of you know uh, not good, but enticing simply means to lure in. Okay. You know, and um, also I want to touch on men's wisdom. So let's start with enticing. All right, let me get a quick, quick definition for enticing. You know, because it's not hard, man. It's, it's, it's not hard to understand these scriptures if you just read and apply your uh, spirit to it, if the Lord's willing. All right, it says something that is enticing is extremely attractive and make and makes one's want to get it or to become involved with it. All right, so enticing means what? Attractive, it means to, to lure, all right? It means, you know, it makes someone that wants to get involved with it, all right? Now, the, now Paul, he said, we know, uh, we, we know the fear of the Lord, so we persuade men, okay? And how do you persuade men? It's by enticing them with the word of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, not of men's wisdom. Okay, so this word enticing is not a bad word, man. Jake, Jake, man. Anyway, it says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom. Because what wisdom Paul came in, it was the it was the, the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Apostle Paul, okay, was one of the great teachers, man. He was taught by Yahweh Shai. Alright? He was knocked off the horse. And Yahweh Shai told him, I can't prick against the prick. I can't prick against the prick, the bricks. All right, because Apostle Paul, you know, in his ignorance, he was persecuting the Lord's church, the Lord's men. All right, he was playing the uh, role of the Roman, the cop, okay, working for the system. All right, but Apostle Paul repented, all right, and he stopped working for the system and he used the system in his behalf and benefit toward Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let me read one more time. It says, In my speech and my preaching, was not with enticing words of men's wisdom. Now, men's wisdom, you know, is, uh, you know, wisdom that you learn, okay, while you out in the street. You know, when you're a child and when you become an adult, you retain some type of wisdom you should have, all right? Whether you played outside, you learn street wisdom, you was on the street, you know, some jakes learn wisdom when they go to jail. There's jail wisdom, certain way how to move, you know, okay? You got wisdom. And certain men that are warriors that, that love to fight, you know, they may not be a professional fighter, but they're a street fighter. You know, they'll learn and there's and you know all the experience, because that's what wisdom is, experience. And all the experience and practice that they had while fighting, they retain some wisdom behind it. All right, how to take you down, how to punch you, fake it, fake a punch or whatever. All right. You know, men's wisdom is uh philosophies, all right commandments of men okay things that man creates but wisdom itself is beautiful because it shows you the power in our lord man it shows you the power in yahweh bashim yahweh Shah. because there's wisdom in every living being okay every creature every every element that the most high create has wisdom because it does something okay 
You know, when you check out the trees, the trees have wisdom. All right, plants have wisdom. Uh, animals have wisdom. Fowls, the, the birds, they have wisdom. All right, and man himself, okay, has wisdom. And the ultimate wisdom is is the knowledge and wisdom, the knowledge and understanding, which are, which is also the wisdom that comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that was given to the Israelites, in particular the elect. So really, the ultimate wisdom of the world, all right, is the knowledge and understanding. And the wisdom that the Lord gives to his elect, all right, on this side. Because eventually in the kingdom, all Israel is going to have that greater wisdom. You know, we was the, the nation chosen by the heavenly father. Okay. So it says, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom. But in demonstration of spirit and of power. Because that demonstration, matter of fact, let me just see. Bear with me. I want to just see something. It says a demonstration is a march or gathering which people take part in to show their opposition to something or their support for something. Because Paul's demonstration came by the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the power in the spirit. And it came by him, all right, preaching the word and, and actually seeing men, women wake up to this truth. All right, pushing off that old man, you know, repenting. You know, you had two men that uh, Paul came in contact with and you know they said they was uh, baptized of John the Baptist and then you know he said what was you baptized with you know because they didn't know Yahweh Shai so when he taught Yahweh Shai they were truly they were truly repentant man they, they truly uh, their eyes were truly open all right also Paul had a form of spiritual powers all right he took demons off of certain people you know I'm thinking of Acts the 16th chapter where um where uh it's a lot okay all right where uh acts the 16th chapter where paul actually healed that woman from her lying divination all right she had a lying spirit on her so it says but in demonstration of the spirit and of power all right so when paul um you know performed you know the works of the most high by prophesizing okay condemning rebuking you know exhorting the name of the lord and demonstration people woke up man and it was all by the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai which is the rakakwadash spirit holy holy spirit all right you know like i said this is a quick hitter i'm gonna read one more time and in it it says and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom all right because there's nothing you know, it's a good thing. Let me say this word enticing uh, could be used good or bad. You know, you could have a woman enticing you, you know, because she's wicked. She could be an adulterous woman and knowing she got a husband. Say, say for example, you at the job and this woman, she got a husband and shit, but she digging you. Looking at you, you ain't paying her no mind. You know, she digging you. And then all of a sudden you hear through your boy or you hear from her friend, she want to talk to you. You know, and you had, you know, then she married and she'd be like, yeah, but, you know, she want to holler at you. All right. And then all of a sudden you'd be like, nah, I'm good. And, you know, when you push women, you push women away, they seem to want you more. So anyway, you know, just an example. Now, here it is. You come back to the job and, you know, every time she get around you, she acting real cute. She got her lipstick on and shit. She got her cleavage out. You know, she's showing her legs. She's trying to walk extra sexy. She's trying to entice you. She's trying to be attractive. You know, that's using uh, enticing, okay, this word enticing, you know, in a wicked way. You could be enticed by, by seduced by different uh, demons out here, all right? But you could also entice the hopeful elect with this word as well, all right? By teaching the tribes, teaching, the, uh, you know, who you are as a people, all right? The true name of the Lord, you know, casting down the imaginations that's of this world. And Paul was doing that. Paul was winning certain people over, okay, by enticing them with the truth, not with men's wisdom. You know, here at Great Millstone, a lot of people hate us, you know, starting with our apostles and elders, because we don't speak of men's wisdom, okay? A lot of different camps, Israelite camps, they don't like Great Millstone because we don't speak of men's wisdom, 
all right? We don't sugarcoat. We teach as what the scriptures say, you know? Like for an example, gotta pull another example, you know, the mark of the beast, okay? You got people who have a congregation, well, you got Israelite camps that has a congregation and a strong following, and here it is, they don't wanna, you know, discourage anybody or have their followers leave from them, so they teach lies, okay? They teach, you know, fulfill good doctrines, you know? Go along the get along doctrines. When that ain't what the scripture's about, the Lord is about setting a division, okay? The Lord is about setting things straight, speaking truth, all right? The truth hurts, and if the truth, uh, if the truth is not for you, then, then guess what? It's not for you. It's for those that's, that's all of the truth. All right. So, you know, you know, like I said, and my uh, as Paul said, excuse me, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom. All right. We don't speak of men's wisdom here. So that's why when we prophesize, you know, one guy told me, he said, I want to hear what you got to say. What you mean you want to hear what I got to say? I'm telling you what the words say, because it's not about what I say. OK, it's about what I'm saying through the word. If I'm not speaking scripture then I'm not speaking truth, man, okay? So that's why you have to speak of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, and of the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, Holy, Holy Spirit, all right? And only way that could be done if Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is dealing, all right, with you, all right? So it's not of men's wisdom. Uh, also, the precept scriptures say, uh, you know, Israel loved, loved to have it so. They love to be lied to. And that's why you got certain camps out here that has this great uh, member, you know, thousands member following, but hey, their doctrine is all screwed up. Esau could make it. The RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. You know, meanwhile, you can see it, you know? It's evident, it's, it's clear as day, man, you know? Um, you know, and all sorts of other crazy doctrines. You know, the massive of the Israelites, the two thirds, you know, they side with Esau and Christianity, man. You know, you got, vocab running around with sellout jakes man that hate this truth that despise this truth man so you know like i said this is a quick hitter let me make it short i hope that this lesson was edifying i'll read it one more time first corinthians 2 and 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and power. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakhak, Badash, double honor. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Goddamn demons, boy.